In this video, we're going to replace the Human Touch Opus power panel. First thing we're going to do is use the end of a paper clip to open the zipper that attaches the shroud to the backrest. Insert the paper clip into the zipper head and open that zipper. Then using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws that secure the shroud. And then simply pull the shroud up and toward you to remove it. The next thing we're going to do is use a Phillips head screwdriver again uh, to remove the cover from the power junction box. Set those four screws aside then and label them that they were for the power junction box because there's different size screws involved in this procedure and you're going to need to know which ones um, go with which step when, when reinstalling it. Next, remove the two screws from the front of the power junction box. Again, set those aside and label where they go. Then remove the screw from each front corner which is a, another type of screw. The power junction box is then detached from the chair frame. So now we need to detach the power panel from the power junction box. We'll start with the four screws on the top. Again, a unique screw. And then there are three screws that secure the bottom of the power panel. At that point, you can slide the power panel downward out of the power junction box. And then disconnect the two connectors. And finally, disconnect the ground wire from the chair frame. and you can remove the power panel from the chair. Next, we need to remove the remote control from the power panel as you'll be reinstalling that same remote control into the new power panel. So just use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws. And pull the remote cable through the power panel. Okay, before we can install the new power panel into the chair, we first need to re reinstall our existing remote control. Just thread those cables through the hole in the power panel and replace the two screws to secure it. To in install the new power panel then, we're going to perform those steps in reverse, starting with connecting the two connectors. Sliding the power panel, or first threading the ground wire through the connector junction box and connecting it to the chair frame. Then sliding the power panel upward into the power junction box. Tucking those connectors in first.
to make sure the power cord is in the large slot in the power panel. Place the screws to secure it. Position the cables inside the cable guides on the back side, which will allow the cover to be placed on and be flush. Place the four screws that secure the top. Place the box into position on the frame and replace the two screws in the corners to secure it. And finally, replace the two screws in the front. And then next we're going to replace the rear plastic shroud. We need to align the slots on each side of the shroud with the corresponding posts on the chair frame. And slide the shroud around those posts as far as it will go and then lower it into position. Then simply replace the two Phillips head screws And we're done.